Catherine Demmel, a notable figure in classic Hollywood, left a lasting impact through various roles in the film industry. While many recognize her contributions, pinpointing a defining work in her career proves challenging amidst a repertoire of legendary performances. However, amidst her celebrated roles, lesser-known anecdotes, and facts about Demmel's life offer a fascinating glimpse into her persona off-screen. These untold stories often paint a more intricate picture, showcasing her beyond the limelight. As for cherished memories or personal experiences associated with this iconic actor, they form a part of the rich tapestry that makes up the legacy she left behind. Sharing these anecdotes opens a window into the depth of her influence and the timeless allure of classic cinema. Your stories and memories of Catherine Dimmel are a treasure trove waiting to be unveiled, inviting a deeper appreciation of her enduring impact in the world of entertainment. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Share your experiences and anecdotes about this classic Hollywood actor. Catherine Demmel, the daughter of Cecil B. Demmel, pursued an acting career, distinguishing herself by playing Native American women in films like Ramona, Black Gold, and Unconquered. Her Italian descent through her mother, Cecile Bianca Bertha Kalani, added depth to her heritage. As the sole child of the famed director to embrace acting, Catherine carved her own path in the entertainment industry, showcasing versatility in portraying diverse roles. Her portrayal of Native American characters stands as a notable aspect of her filmography, reflecting both her talent and the industry's dynamics of that time. These roles contributed to her legacy in cinema, showcasing her range as an actress. Orphaned at nine due to the tragedies of World War I and illness, she found a new family with Cecil B. Demo and his wife, Constance Adams. Born Catherine Lester, she embraced a passion for acting after exploring music and sculpting. Her journey into film began modestly as an extra in a Frank Tuttle production in 1928. Later, she honed her craft, eventually showcasing versatility by portraying Native American women in films like Ramona, Black Gold, and Unconquered. Her legacy extends beyond her ancestry and upbringing marked by her resilience and commitment to her chosen path in the entertainment industry. Valentina Quinn, her daughter, continues to uphold her mother's artistic lineage. The twists of fate that marked her early life shaped an actress whose impact in cinema endures, leaving a mark that transcends time. Granddaughter to the renowned figures Henry C. Demmel and Beatrice Demmel, Catherine Demmel forged an illustrious path in the world of acting, leaving an indelible mark on the silver screen. Beyond the mere ties of familial lineage, her cinematic journey unfolded as a captivating tale of talent and artistry. In the cinematic realm, Catherine Demmel graced the screen in two timeless classics that etched their names in the annals of film history. The first, Viva Villa, emerged as a cinematic gem, earning an Academy Award nomination for Best Picture. Her presence in this epic production showcased not only her lineage, but also her ability to seamlessly blend into the narratives of high-stakes dramas. Continuing her ascent in the industry, Catherine Demmel captivated audiences once again with her role in the 1936 adaptation of Romeo and Juliet, another masterpiece nominated for the coveted Academy Award for Best Picture. In these pivotal films, her performances weren't just familial nods, they were testaments to her prowess and versatility as an actress. Her ability to seamlessly transition from one genre to another underscored her status as a true luminary in the golden age of Hollywood. As the credits rolled on these acclaimed productions, Catherine Demmel's legacy solidified, transcending the constraints of familial association. Her contribution to cinema wasn't merely a matter of bloodline. It was a testament to her skill, range, and ability to breathe life into characters that would stand the test of time. These films remain as enduring monuments to her artistry, and her name resonates through the corridors of film history. In the grand tapestry of Hollywood's past, Catherine Demmel's performances stand as pivotal threads woven into the very fabric of cinematic excellence. Her legacy, marked by these significant contributions, is a testament to the enduring power of her performances and their lasting impact on the history of film. The story of Catherine Demmel, granddaughter to Henry C. Demmel and Beatrice Demmel is not just one of familial ties, but an intricate narrative of talent, versatility, and cinematic brilliance. And so, the saga of Catherine Demmel, with all its cinematic triumphs and timeless moments, is eternally etched in the history of film and narrative beautifully. Catherine Demmel, 
a standout in Hollywood's golden era, showcased remarkable versatility in her acting career. Notably, she portrayed Hispanic women in several films, including Viva Villa, The Trumpet Blows, The Californian, Love Under Fire, Blockade, and An Old Caliant. This period marked her as one of the six paramount protégés of 1935, alongside notable peers like Wendy Berry and Anne Sheridan. Beyond this recognition, she made impactful contributions to her father's films, The Crusades and Unconquered. Her journey into the cinematic realm was not merely a familial tie, it was a testament to her skill, range, and ability to breathe life into characters that endure in the history of film. As one of the paramount protégés, Catherine's presence on the silver screen resonated with audiences, solidifying her status as a luminary in the industry. In Viva Villa, she not only played a pivotal role, but also contributed to the film's Academy Award nomination for Best Picture. The cinematic excellence continued with her appearance in the Crusades and Unconquered films that showcased her acting prowess. Her ability to seamlessly transition from one genre to another underscored her enduring impact on Hollywood's golden age. Catherine Demmel's legacy is eternally etched in the history of film, marked by her captivating performances and contributions to cinematic excellence. Her story, woven into the grand tapestry of Hollywood's past, stands as a testament to talent, versatility, and cinematic brilliance. Attending the New York premiere of Lawrence of Arabia in 1962 alongside her husband Anthony Quinn, Catherine Demmel graced the event with her presence. A notable figure in Hollywood's golden era, Demmel's interests extended beyond acting, encompassing sculpturing, architecture, and music. However, her connection to the film industry wasn't confined to her roles on screen. In 1953, she stood on the Oscar stage, accepting the award for Best Actor in a Supporting Role on behalf of her husband, Anthony Quinn, who was absent that evening. This occurred at the same ceremony where her father triumphed with the Academy Award for Best Picture for The Greatest Show on Earth. Catherine Dimmel's multifaceted engagement with the world of cinema, from attending premieres to representing acclaimed actors, reflects her dynamic presence beyond acting. Her interests and contributions, both on and off the screen, reveal a woman whose impact on Hollywood resonates through diverse avenues. As we bid adieu to this exploration into the cinematic tapestry, woven by a luminary whose indelible mark has graced the silver screen, I implore you, cherished reader, to cast your mind into the realm of your personal connection with the enigmatic actress who has left an enduring legacy. Let the sepia-toned memories, the flickering frames of performances past, flood your consciousness. Perhaps it's the way her nuanced portrayals ignited a symphony of emotions within you, or the magnetic allure that held you spellbound as she effortlessly inhabited diverse roles. Now is the moment to embrace that connection, to traverse the corridors of time, and unearth the fragments of recollection that tie you, however subtly, to the brilliance that was Catherine Demo. In this introspective interlude, I invite you to share your musings, your cherished fragments of insight, and your most profound reflections on the tapestry woven by this cinematic sorceress. Let your words resonate like a sonnet, celebrating the magic she brought to the celluloid canvas and the personal resonance it etched upon your soul. As we stand on the precipice of memory, let us collectively revel in the shared experience of witnessing the artistry unfold on screen. Your narratives, your anecdotes, are the threads that weave the rich fabric of appreciation for a talent that transcends time. In this shared endeavor of remembrance, we pay homage to the impact of Catherine Demmel, an icon whose artistic prowess has left an indelible imprint on the very essence of entertainment. Your thoughts, dear reader, are the echo of her influence, resonating through the corridors of cinematic history. As we conclude this introspective journey, I extend heartfelt gratitude for your time, your reflections, and your enduring interest in the magic spun by the incomparable Catherine Demmel. May her legacy continue to illuminate the vast expanse of the cinematic cosmos.